Hello everyone, welcome in Learn CHE. In this video, we are going to talk about inverted YouTube differential manometer. So this is our figure of inverted YouTube differential manometer. So whenever we study or we see the differential manometer, so we can understand that differential manometers are used for measuring the pressure difference between two points okay so here my one point is we can say the p and the second point is q whose pressure difference we have to measure that's why we are using here differential manometer and why we use inverted youtube so inverted YouTube whenever we whenever we require accuracy and whenever we have to use low pressure with accuracy so we use inverted YouTube differential manometer and please let me in comments box what are the applications industrial application where we use inverted YouTube differential manometer that is your homework so in inverted YouTube differential manometer it consists an inverted YouTube which you are seeing in the diagram containing manometric fluid okay this light liquid is a manometric fluid which is this one this one is a manometric fluid or we can say a light liquid and its specific gravity is less than the specific gravity of the liquid whose pressure difference we have to measure like we can say the specific gravity of P and the specific gravity of Q which we are representing by S1 and S2. These two fluid specific gravity will be higher than the specific gravity of the light liquid. Suppose uh, this light liquid has a specific gravity we can say S1 sorry S okay and this is our manometric fluid here and both the ends of the manometer is connected to the points at which pressure are to be measured. So this is our inverted YouTube manometer so one end is connected to the point P and the another point is connected to the Q whose pressure difference we have to measure. So now we have to measure the pressure difference between point P and Q. So what we will do, we will simply use hydrostatic law, the first thing and the second thing is then after that we will balance the column, the column method and then we will be able to find the pressure difference between the point P and Q. So let's start the calculation for pressure difference. First thing is pressure in the right limb below BB. Okay, so this is my axis B and B and we have to measure or we have to calculate the pressure in the right limb. So this is my right limb. Here we can write the pressure. How? So we can, I can just write this pressure is like that. P, I can write the pressure in the right limb as PQ minus WH minus W2 H2 so why here is minus sign because we are measuring here the pressure below BB or we can say below, below our datum line or reference line that's why I am using here minus sign okay this is Q guys and I am just using here what I am using here just a hydrostatic law which you can see here and this is PQ the PQ the point this one this point pressure and then WH and W2 H2 W and H what is that that is W is the specific weight of the light liquid okay and h is a we can say difference in height okay difference in height when the pressure fluctuate and we can say when we connect these two points the point p and point q and here i am assuming that the p the point the pressure at point p is greater than the pressure at point q just we are assuming this because we have to calculate the uh, pressure difference okay so what will happen when we we will collect when we will connect both the points what will happen that the light liquid will go in this direction okay it will go in this direction and after equilibrium you will see the difference in height suppose this this height is h and this height is h and w is a specific weight of that light liquid okay so now now we can calculate the pressure in the left limb so in a left limb how can we write that so this is my left limb okay so the point is p so the first i can i will write here the p then minus sign because we are using at all we are determining the pressure below the point bb it will w1 h right so i have i have written here the pressure in the right limb and the pressure in the left limb now let's see we have find the pressure in the right limb and left limb now what we have to do we have to calculate or we have to 
कैलकुलेट द प्रेसर डिफरेंस बिटवीन पॉइंट पी एंड क्यू नाउ वी विल यूज द बैलेंस कॉलम मैथड सो वट विल हैपन हेयर एंड वट वी विल डू वी विल इक्वेट द इक्वेशन नंबर वन दिस वन एंड द इक्वेशन नंबर टू वी विल इक्वेट बोथ द इक्वेशन एंड देन वी विल फाइंड द प्रेसर डिफरेंस बिटवीन पॉइंट पी एंड क्यू सो वेन आई इक्वेट बोथ द इक्वेशन देन वट विल हैपन सो जस्ट राइट देयर सो इट विल बिकम पी क्यू माइनस डब्ल्यू एच माइनस डब्ल्यू टू एच टू इक्वल टू पी एट पॉइंट प्रेसर एट पॉइंट पी माइनस डब्ल्यू वन एच वन ओके दिस डब्ल्यू is a specific weight and h is a height okay so but just i am labeling here to one or simply h because of uh, we have to see here okay so here uh, i am just telling you one thing as well like this w1 is a specific weight of this uh, this liquid liquid p okay and the specific and this w2 is a specific weight of liquid q or we can say a liquid second liquid okay and this one is a first liquid and the same w will be the specific weight of light liquid or manometric liquid and same thing and the same thing with h1 h2 and h these are the height okay corresponding to we can say h1 corresponding to h2 and this h is a difference in height when we connect both the limbs now i have write both the equation equation number 1 and equation number 2 now what i have to do i have to simply write the pressure difference the pressure difference so what will be the pressure difference i can just simply write here pp minus pq equal to this w1 will be come here and it will become positive and it will i can write here w1 h1 minus w into h and then again minus w2 h2 now it will be equal to what it will become it will become like here w will be rho g okay so here you can see that the g g will be same for every liquid okay so i can just simply write g outside and now it will become rho1 h1 minus rho h minus rho2 h2 okay so it this is our pressure difference between point p and q and we use this inverted u tube manometer where we required a accuracy and low pressure okay so this work so this is all for the inverted u tube differential manometer and in our next video we will talk about the another u tube differential manometers and another u tube manometer so if you do not understand anything you can just comment me in a comment box and i'll make the video separate for you and i'll also comment you in a comment box so thank you for watching have a nice day